Hello team, thanks for joining us. You've got your command team here. You've got the command chief and Edith uh, there in Washington, D.C. And you've got the commander here and my wife Janice down in, uh, in middle Georgia. We wanted to talk to you about a couple of things today. Uh, first of all, what we're gonna do in response to what the COVID-19 threat really is. And what we're gonna do is make sure that we're taking care of the most important thing we have in this country and that's our citizens, taking care of Americans. We're gonna focus on that. However, we need to fold into what the Air Force is doing in order to pr provide uh, support uh, to Americans, that's what we're gonna do. Currently, we have uh, reservists that are in New York City uh, helping at a few of the hospitals there because that's where the uh, epicenter is currently. But we're also gonna be able to fold in reservists to wherever they're gonna be needed. It could be in Chicago, it could be in Denver. I'll tell you, whatever, wherever that pandemic leads to next, they're gonna be Air Force Reservists there to make sure that we're taking care of our American citizens. The second piece of it is, is looking about what we're gonna do for our, our airmen and their families. And that really folds into the resiliency piece, which is incredibly important. With everything we have going on, especially the social distancing, which is just physical distancing, but we wanna make sure that we keep everybody socially connected. That and all the, the trauma of staying at home all the time. Every time I walk in the door, Janice is spraying me down with some concoction she has that's supposed to disinfect me. <laughs> like I'm patient zero or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's incredibly important to do that. Yeah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yes, resiliency is the most important thing for our airmen and our families right now. It can be incredibly frustrating to telework, homeschool, meal plan, sanitize your home and office and your husband. So it's important to reach out to your extended family and friends, make sure your neighbors are doing okay. It can be especially difficult during these times to balance the mental and spiritual and physical um, pillars, the social pillars. So it's important to check in and stay connected. Team, like the boss just said, and Mrs. Scobie just said, hey, we need everybody in this fight and we need you to be mentally strong. So make sure that uh, you're spending enough time with family, playing games, exercising, and make sure that you're getting enough rest and exercise. While gyms are closed and, and limited in some fashion, make sure that you take the opportunity or the advantage of getting outside, taking a, a walk, a jog with your family, by yourself, or just working out at, at home or with your family if you have time, when you have time. Although churches may be closed, uh, some of the churches are providing some online services as a way of staying spiritually connected. So make sure that you're taking care of that along with any other social media outlets that you use to stay connected in addition to staying connected with work, but most importantly with your family. Because although social distancing is important, social distancing does not mean social disconnection. So make sure you're staying connected. The technology we have today that helps us stay resilient as families and as Air Force Reserve, there are many resources still available to you and to our families. Um, for one, militaryonesource.com, your local key spouse programs, Air Force chaplains, psychological and mental health counselors, uh, veterans and VA resources, and of course, our first sergeants, supervisors, command chiefs, and commanders. As we start mobilizing our reserve citizen airmen to help the fight against COVID-19 and do what we need to do to take care of American citizens, we'll need to lean on each other more than we ever had before. We'll also need to lean on some of these helping resources that we've outlined today. That is what's going to make us successful, especially in resiliency. Our communities and neighbors need us to be strong, both as an Air Force Reserve military and civilian members fighting the COVID-19 fight, and as DOD mem members battling the challenges of our restricted movements, quarantine, and family care. I'll tell you, the Command Chief and I, we don't care what status you're in. What we do and care about is that you're part of our team. You're always part of the Reserve family. So no matter what's going on, make sure you stay connected with us. Bottom line is this, know that you're not alone. Whether you're a spouse, a parent, a child, civilian, contractor, or military member, you're not alone, and we're in this together. The Air Force Reserve cares about you. Your command team cares about you. Right. Stay strong, stay safe, and stay connected. Thanks, team. Take care. Bye, team. Bye. Thank you. Bye.